Are you looking to buy a backpack, but you're overwhelmed by all the choices? Well, fear not. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the right backpack for you and your needs. My name is Grimace. You're watching The Bespoke Woodsman. On this channel, I talk about hiking, backpacking, backpacking gear. If those kinds of things interest you, click subscribe, click the notification bell. We'd love to have you along with me. First question you wanna ask yourself is, do I need a framed backpack or a frameless backpack? Most people recommend a framed backpack for your first adventure, but I don't necessarily agree with that. So what are the pros and cons of each? Well, with a framed backpack, you're basically looking at a bag with a frame inside of it. So a metal frame sheet, some sort of structure that, that, that holds it and gives it shape. So of course, that's going to be sort of dummy proof. You can load that anyway. Are there best practices on how to distribute weight inside of the pack? Yes, but it's also very forgiving. So you can put almost anything into a framed backpack and be relatively comfortable for the duration of a hike. The other benefit to that then is that it handles heavier loads because it does have that aluminum frame and usually a, a hip belt taking the weight off of your back a little bit and helping distribute it and helping you to carry it. The other major advantage of a framed backpack is that you can go into a store and try them on. You can go into a Dick's Sporting Goods or in a, an outdoor adventure store and put them on and try them and talk to a sales rep and walk around the store and put weight inside of them and see how they feel and try the doodads and, and the straps and the bells and the whistles and you can get a real sense for do I like this pack on my body. Frameless packs, on the other hand, tend to be made by cottage manufacturers. Uh, they're made to order, so they can be a bit more of a custom fit, which is nice. Beyond that, a frameless backpack is gonna be a little bit cheaper because it doesn't have all the bells and whistles and doodads, which have been cut to trim weight, which is the other major advantage of a frameless pack, is that it weighs less, and a lot of times it will actually last longer because it doesn't have as much stuff to break or to fail. The second major consideration when buying a backpack is size. How big a pack do I need? And there are a lot of ways to help determine that. Online, you can find a lot of guides that may be of questionable value. For instance, REI's website, they say you need a 20 to 50 liter backpack for an overnight trip. That's fine, but then they go up from there. 50 to 60 liters for a weekend, 60 to 80 liters for a two to five nights, and then 80 plus liters for an extended trip. That is a big backpack, friends. Uh, you definitely don't need a backpack that big unless you're carrying a lot of extraneous equipment, maybe in a four season, like a winter camping experience. But for the most part, you probably don't need anything that large, or maybe you will. Maybe you wanna take a lot of stuff and that's okay too. In that case, you're gonna to wanna to go for a bigger backpack. But I think my point is like, take those numbers with a grain of salt because you know if you're going a little more minimalist, if you're trying to shed a little bit of weight, you don't probably need as big a backpack as the outdoor retailers who are trying to sell you those backpacks would have you believe. On the topic of size, I wanna talk a bit about fit. How do I know how long of a backpack I need? What size of a backpack you need? You're going to get a torso measurement on every backpack. They're gonna say this fits these torso lengths. So most backpack models will have different sizes. And the way that you measure that is the C7 vertebra, which is the, the one that kind of stands out a little bit. It's a bump that you can feel down to your iliac crest, which is if you put your hands at the top of your hips and put your thumbs backwards, um, it's where your spine is where your spine falls between your thumbs. The last thing you want to think about is features. Do you need a hydration sleeve? Are you going to carry a hydration bladder? Uh, do you, how many pockets do you need? Do you need a front pocket? That's that mesh pocket, which is all the way to your back, but that's the front of the backpack. Do you need a hip belt? Does that hip belt need pockets? Do you need a sternum strap? Do you need load lifters to help uh, distribute the weight, carry the weight? Do you want a brain or a lid on the top of your pack? Uh, what sort of durability and waterproofness do you want out of it? And there are a lot of answers to that. I would say, I like to go for maximum storage for the lightest weight. So side pockets, yes. Front pocket, yes. No lid, those are very heavy. It's made of the same material as the, the pack itself. Uh, I don't like a lot of straps, a lot of, I don't generally carry a like a sternum strap, but I go frameless, so that's a little bit different. 
I don't usually do a hip belt. Um, so things to think about. If it's one of your first trips, I would say uh, you can always kind of trim those things off later if you end up not liking them. So maybe get them and then sort of figure out from there if you need them. But I like to go for the most storage for the least weight. So mesh pockets are really good. Anything sort of lightweight. So there you go. Type, size, features. That's it. It doesn't have to be complicated. You take that information, you go on to different uh, manufacturers' websites, you look online without a sales rep hovering over you, just go through those packs. They'll talk through all of the details, all the specs, all of the fit, and choose from there. I do all of my pack shopping online. It's really a great way to go without having someone in your ear who doesn't necessarily have your best interests at heart. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you got value out of this video, please click the thumbs up button. Leave a comment below. What are you looking for in a backpack? What features uh, do you have? It? Is there anything that I missed? Would love to hear from you. I'm constantly learning like every backpacker I know. So I would love to see if there's anything that you look for when you look for a backpack. Again, my name is Grimace. You're watching The Bespoke Woodsman. On this channel, I talk about hiking, backpacking, backpacking gear. Tune in for my next video next week. I'll be talking about some popular backpacking destinations. And uh, hey, let's do this again sometime.